What is going on, you guys? This is the Andrew Roboto, 2021 here, and welcome back to One Counterless Night at Dipsy's, where we will be taking on the normal mode in this video, and the reason why I'm doing three separate videos on these is because, well, pretty much gets boring after, after a while playing one mode, that's what I realized, because, like, basically you're just sitting there waiting for Dipsy and it gets boring at times. And also, extreme mode is going to be the hardest mode out of the three difficulties. But anyways, without further ado, we'll take on normal mode and let's see what that's about for us. We obviously did easy mode because we got a green star for it. Now we're doing normal mode. Which Dipsy's going to definitely be moving a little bit faster for this challenge. So I definitely got to keep my eye on him more frequently on the camera. A little more frequently, actually, because he's going to be moving a little bit faster for normal mode. For extreme mode, he's going to be moving very fast. And Dipsy's looking at me. Which basically is him telling you I'm ready to come get you. Ooh, I'm ready to come get you. Ooh, dude. Oh, boy. Okay, Dipsy left, so now... We just gotta see where he comes from. He will either come to the door or the vents. That's what we gotta look, look out for. Oh, Dipsy's at the door. Okay, did he leave? Let's take a look. Alright, he left. Perfect. Okay, he's moving. Okay. I can tell you it's definitely going to be harder to conserve the door power once we do the extreme mode because he's going to be moving faster. It's definitely what I can, I'm getting that feeling right now. Okay, is he came yet or no? Got to look closely for Dipsy because, um, because there's no light to, because you don't have a light to check the, the door and the vent. Oh, he's at the door. Up, oh, stole the door. Okay. Okay, this time he left. Perfect. Hopefully going to be able to beat this mode. Um, because my main worry is going to be conserving the power for the door. Because because you only get four bars of power for the door. That's what I'm worried about. And then I assume the vent, when we close it, will raise the toxic meter. Okay, I gotta look closely for Dipsy, because of course you don't have a light. You don't get a light to, like, check the hallway and the vent. Up oh, here's Dipsy, he's at the vent. So I gotta seal the vent. Okay. Okay, good. Dipsy's back there. Perfect. Okay. And I was correct. When you close the vent, it raises the toxic meter. So, and then it goes back down when you open it. But the good thing is, um, Dipsy will be able to see on the camera when you have to close the vent.
And I can also check Dipsy on the camera while I'm dealing with him at the door, so that's a good thing. It's helpful, actually, because... Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck here wasting power, pretty much. Okay, it's 4 a.m., so we're doing well so far. I'm hopefully going to be able to beat this mode, but we'll see. Because I know extreme mode is going to be harder to conserve the door power as well as the, the, the toxic meter for the vent. Oh, here's Dipsy. Okay, good. Dipsy left, but I'm down to one bar. One bar of power for the door, so that is not a good thing. I just gotta hope he doesn't go to the door this time, because it's only 4 a.m. Because if I run out of power, I am screwed. <laughs> and it's only 4 a.m., so what are the odds of me beating normal mode on the first try? What are the odds? Because I know the odds are not going to be good for me trying to beat extreme mode because it's going to be... Because for extreme mode, we're going to have to close the door in the vent more frequently because he's going to be moving faster. For normal mode, he's moving a little bit faster. Easy mode was obviously the easiest because he moves slower. Damn it, Dipsy's there. And I just ran out of door power like I expected. And I just ran out of door power. <laughs> Trying to do normal mode. Okay, so normal mode is going to be a little bit difficult because... Obviously, Dipsy's going to be moving a little bit faster, so it's going to be a little more difficult. Now to see if he's going to come to either the door or the vent. Because closing the door on him is the tricky part because you only have like limited power. The vent is even more tricky because, well, we only have like... Because with a vent, we have a toxic meter and if it gets full, then we'd be dead. Okay, just waiting for Dipsy, waiting patiently. Because this is one of those games where you gotta like... This, this is just like Five Nights, of, Five Nights of Thomas's, where you just have one camera to check and then a door and a vent. And you're just waiting patiently the whole time. Difference is though, for... Oop, Dipsy's in the vent, gotta close it. Okay, good, he went back. Because the toxic meter raises pretty quickly. Difference is, though, as I was explaining, with Five Nights of Thomas's, instead of closing a vent, you're you're just refill, refilling um, the coal furnace. Because in Five Nights of Thomas's, one, you just have one camera to check, and then a door, and then a furnace, a coal furnace to refill. Five Nights of Thomas's, two, 
you have more than one camera to check and then three doors to check and then the coal furnace you just refill on the camera Up here's Dip, so you gotta close the vent. Is he gonna go back to the camera? Okay, good, because... Because I... Because trust me, because I came close to having that... Because I came close to having the toxic meter full, and if that were to happen, I'd be dead no matter what. Hopefully he goes to the vent more than the door, because the vent I can handle... The vent is not much of an issue. The door is really the ish the issue. The door closing the door is more of an issue than the vent. Or actually, they're both equally the issue because the door you have limited power. The vent, if you keep it closed for too long, the toxic meter gets full. Okay, so we're doing well so far. It's at 3 a.m. Those oop dips is here. Close the door. Wait till he goes back. There we go. Okay, it's 4 a.m. So we're still doing well. So that's good. I just hope I can beat it normal mode this time because the first time I did this video made it to 5 a.m. and then died because I lost, ran out of door power. Got to get lucky here to beat this mode. So I'm hopefully going to, because extreme, extreme mode is definitely going to be taking me several tries. It's definitely going to. Okay, let's see where Dipsy's going to go to. Oh, he's at the door this time. Gotta close it. Okay, we made it to 5 a.m. However, though, one bar power, so that's the issue. I just gotta pray he goes to the vent this time because it's 5 a.m. And I'm low on door power. There we go. Okay, so we beat the normal mode. I was, I was worried that Dipsy was going to go to the door the second time I did this, but on the second try, we got lucky and beat normal mode. Okay, so it was a little bit tricky, but we beat it nonetheless, so that's a good thing. Good job. You have been awarded with a red star. Okay, so we have... Okay, so we have gotten a red star for beating... Sorry, I had to close out the game because it does not let me skip that for some weird reason. But anyways, we have earned a red star for beating normal mode, which was a little bit tricky, but we beat it on the second try. It was definitely... Tr it was definitely trickier. It was definitely... Definitely more trickier than easy mode because... Easy mode was purely easy because Dipsy moves really slow. Normal mode was tricked a little bit tricky because because it was harder to conserve the door power as well as the the toxic meter. But we beat it nonetheless. So that's good. But anyways, the last mode we have to do is extreme mode, and it's obviously going to be the hardest. So God knows if I'm going to be able to beat it. 
But anyways, we will take on the extreme mode, the extreme mode in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've all given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. Be sure to follow me on TikTok and hit the bell on there to receive notifications of videos as well. And until then, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.